money on my mind. I got my G Shock watch. Plus I'm super fly. I'm rocking my G Shock. I'm rocking my super shock. I'm rocking my. G -shock. I'm all right, YouTube, and here we are again with another um, G-Shock related um, review. In this case, we're going to do the GWG-1000 Mudmaster Fig vs. Real. Um, this was pretty obvious. It's uh, easy to tell to the naked eye, I would, I would think. Uh, first of all, please remember, if the price is too good to be true, it more than likely is. If you're being offered a GWG-1000 Mudmaster for under a hundred dollars maybe even under two hundred dollars it's more likely than more likely that it's fake uh these retail about for about 750 they can be found for over 400 maybe roughly by 450 500 dollars and so anything under that can be sketchy not saying you can't find them for that less for less than that but very difficult and um not very very common so Let's get started. Let's do a comparison. Um, uh, there's two really bad fakes here. I, like I said, it's it's very obvious to the naked eye, but some tips and trips, uh, tips and tricks for you to kind of see for yourself some um, ways to distinguish the fake ones from the real ones. Okay, let's start with this one here, the camel. Uh, for starters, uh, G-Shock did not release a color pattern and um, camel in this colorway for the GWG-1000. There is a desert camel, which is a tan color camel, and I'll post a picture of that shortly. You can see it here. That's the actual camel. This gray version of camel does not exist. Therefore, it is not authentic, all right? Second um, thing to notice is that the original GWG-1000s come with a metal clasp for the, for the uh, band holder like this all right it doesn't come with the leather one or or uh, uh what is it called resin band holder so if you were if yours has a metal one uh, that's a good sign the fake ones don't have that they have this fake um resin band holder on there all right that's one thing to notice again the uh clasp does not have g-shock on it it's just um plain like that all right, so that's one, another thing to notice. And it's not its not this typical. This is a standard GA100, GA110 um, buckle. This is the rugged GA, GWG1000 version of that. So this is another way to look at that, okay? This shouldn't be, it shouldn't have any writing on there. Okay, on the back of it, the original has a Casio on the back with Japan. This one doesn't have anything. Okay, moving on. Okay, now this one is one version that I found. The other one I'll show you shortly. This one here does have the um, barometer, all the mold indicators on the on the on the left corner there. This one has it too, but you'll see um, that in the fake one, those don't operate. Don't they don't actually work? They're just stagnant there, all right? So that's one way to see it. The real ones work when you change modes like this. You see that barometer temp temperature, receive signal, stopwatch, timer, alarm, world time, so forth. Okay, so that works. And the fake one, it doesn't. Push the button. Those buttons don't work at all. So that's another indicator. For you to keep an eye out for okay let's see what else um on the bottom digital screen you'll see of course this is a sapphire glass this is just plastic so another indication there another way to tell um the led is clear on the bottom one very legible easy to read okay home time it's got the barometer showing there, compass on that side. Let's change this to altimeter. Okay, there's your time, your time and date, barometer, so forth, okay? And this one, you'll see that it has, not very legible, it's very hard to read, and the fonts are completely off, okay? You see that? You can't really, it's not legible at all, this button changes modes, but it's 
it's like the time um i'm not sure what that even is it looks like stopwatch stopwatch but alarm and back to his home time okay the crown on this one the original one is supposed to turn it clockwise to unlock it can get it off there you go pops and then you get the click to uh change the city's locations chicago push it back in and you're set lock it again by pushing it and turning it there we go turn it clockwise to lock it on this one it doesn't do anything matter of fact if you pull it, it pops right off it's not connected to anything <laughs> fell right off the table there and you can see it's just it's just a design it's not doesn't do it has no function whatsoever so um pull the crown if the crown falls off there's a problem even if it's the original the crown falls off you have a problem um do not settle for that okay on the original this is metal checkered um button there on the this was plastic on the fake one you can see the red seal for the waterproofing on the on the crown. Can't see that there. There's your sensors, fake sensor versus real sensor. Okay, light button. Show you the difference. The um, luminescent um, luminescent um, dials there. You can see that how pretty that is. Double LED, meaning there's a LED on the bottom and also the um, Digital display has the LED as well. Great for uh, nighttime reading. This one does have a luminescent as well, but it's poor. You see the light does not have a double LED. A double LED. It only has a single LED for the backlight digital display. No light comes out on the bottom and should have one. Okay. Let's look at the uh, band. The band is pretty similar. Triple sensor, multiband six, tough solar. Okay. Look at the back plate. Back plate is horrible. Back plate is just terrible, flawed. You see that completely different from what's. This is a standard circular back plate. Should look more like that. <laughs> Big difference. Doesn't have the model number GWG one thousand as you see there. The reference number. Five four six three, I think it is six eight or six three. Yeah, five four six three module doesn't have that on there. Um, it's got FY. It's just horrible. It's just, I mean, it's it's obvious knockoff. So another thing to look for there. Okay. All right. So another fake one is this one here, which is the red version. Should be mocking the um, GWG one thousand RD dash four. That's the red one, and there's actually a video I made of that one, a review of that one. So go check that out if you want to see that that specific model. Um, but this one's even worse in terms of um, a fake. This one has a digital display of the modes, which doesn't even work. Of course, the battery doesn't work on this one. It died almost immediately. Um, typical of a fake. This should last much longer than um, a week. Okay, but you can see there. It's got a digital mode. It's got a window there instead of the third and where the three dial position should be. Um, it's got a uh, a um, cut. As you can see this here, it's uh, it's not a rectangle per se. It's got these corners, those dips there. The original doesn't have that. They're very, they're very small. They're not as um, defined as they are on these. Um, this one did a better job of copying that you can see there but even then it's not perfect so that's another flaw again this one does have them the uh it's this uh grooved checkered meshed um buttons but they're not the same let me zoom in it's not and matter of fact these are plastic these are more feel they feel more metal i think they're yeah they're they're more like aluminum or something but they're not plastic 
it's plastic. Poor condition. All right, you can see the buttons there. Much better quality on the original. Again, with the, pl with the plastic sensor. Okay, and the back plate on this one looks like this. Now, this is interesting. This is the Gravity Master design. That's not the Mud Master design. So that's a Gravity Master logo on there. It does have, a matter of fact, look, it says GPW 1000, which is the Gravity Master model. Um, the the uh, 0001 reference for the module does not exist. That's not a real module. Um, it says tough solar under. This is not a tough solar. This is not solar at all. Um, not even battery operated at this moment. So sapphire glass, doubt it. Uh, so those are the indicator. Just look at the back plate, guys. It's, I mean, in terms of weight, this one's um, much lighter. The original has some heft to it. A lot more heavier than the, than the fake. Um, so just hold it. And you can tell, like, this is just not right. Something is not right. Just something to look forward for, okay? Um, I will um, try to open the back and see what that looks like. I'm curious to see myself. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that. And I'll show you a picture of what the original should look like. Um, let's try to open it up. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to open this one up. Um, let's get started here. So the original has this these buttons here, these screws that you pull off to access the back plate to unscrew. This one does as well, but you can tell here, look at this. Let's see if I can do this. Um, might be hard, but... No, look at this. They're not screws. Just pull them right off. <laughs> uh, there you go. The other side. And there you go. Now you have access to your screws. Let me open that up. I'm really curious to see what this looks like, to be honest. Some cheap, cheap screws that they use. You can see the uh, rubber seal protruding from the bike plate. Not great. Okay, and that's the moment we've all been waiting for. Oops, what happened? Okay. There goes your back plate. Oh, and look at that. Yet another circular um, module. <laughs> this looks very similar to the GA100, what was it, the GA110, um, I think we did review. Yeah, the GA110 um, AC-7 fake versus real review that I did. They use this, has the same circular battery screw kind of composite design which is not and i'll show you guys a picture of how it's supposed to look here now you can see how it's supposed to look completely different right all right guys hopefully you enjoy that please don't get suckered into buying this garbage um it does no one and it doesn't behoove anybody at all you get stuck with a cheap quality watch with one that won't last you very long um casual losing out losing out on uh, revenue uh and the people who you're buying them from, um, they'll continue to sell them and continue to produce fakes and everyone loses. So don't do it. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, don't get caught wearing one of these, these disgusting looking watches. I mean, they're just horrible. You can't, you can't even tell time on them. So don't recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you like this review. Hopefully you like the comparison. And... Um, Highly recommend this GWG 1000 Mud Master. It is one of the best watches out there. It has triple sensor, barometer, temperature, um, altimeter, um, stopwatch, timer, alarm, world time, multiband six, solar, 12 solar. I mean, it, it's just digital compass. I mean, it, it's just amazing. So many options that it has. Um, world time, like I said, um, go get yourself one if you don't have one already. Great design. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please comment below if this helped you. If it didn't help you, any suggestions, you, anything, recommendations you can make. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Holla at your boy. I'm out of here. Peace.
Money on my mind, I got my G-Shock watch. Plus I'm super fly, I'm rocking my G-Shock. I'm rocking my G-Shock. I'm rocking my 